Yeah, basically, Football Freestyler is a TV show. Uh, so this is the second series. We did the first series where we travelled about, but this time uh, it's gone a lot bigger and better. We travelled to 14 different countries, meeting the world's best freestylers and also some uh, footballers along the way as well. So it was amazing. Yeah, the sport is really growing now, and uh, I think that people are going to be shocked when they see some of the skills on show. Yeah, I'll say probably the best freestyler, apart from myself, of course, is uh, a lad called Charlie out in Argentina. He, he was unbelievable. We got there, and I'd heard good things about him, but, but to see him, see him live and see some of the moves he's pulling off was, was inspirational. It was, it was unbelievable. So, yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty good. And probably the best, best player. We played a game called the Dan Magnus Chicken Challenge. Basically, I have to balance a, a chicken on my head. We went into the Arsenal training ground, I'm in the back of a car, we drive around and all the boys have to try and hit it off and uh, Giroud managed to, uh, to ping one off and uh, yeah, he was pretty happy about that. So I'd say Giroud, he was a good boy, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> How did you get into your, your job as a football freestyler? Yeah, basically I kind of fell into it really. I always played football as a kid, wanted to be a professional. Um, I played for Wimbledon and then obviously they went to MK Dons, so they released a lot of the youth team, one of, one, I was one of them. Uh, and I always had the skills anyway, I was always that player that could do, do a few moves in training. And then I entered a, a competition called Adidas Trick Stars back in about 99, 2000, something like that. And I won it and then I started winning competitions from then on and then decided that I could actually make a career out of this. People started paying me for doing shows. And then from then on, I took it one step further and managed to break a few world records. And I've been doing it, doing it full time now for, for quite a few years. So it's been, been amazing for me. When I didn't make it as a player, I never believed I'd have some of the amazing opportunities that I've had. So it's been, been a fantastic career so far. That's brilliant. Uh, do you ever play like five a side or anything like that now? Or? Yeah, I play a bit of five a side. Um, every now and again I'll have a game, but to be honest, as, as soon as people know what you do for a living, they all want to clout you, so you've got to be a little bit careful. You've got to be nice and, nice and quick, so I try and take it easy now. What's the best freestyle trick you've ever seen? Is it one of yours or is it by someone Nah, else? do you know what? Probably the best one I've ever seen um, was guy, by a guy called Charlie uh, Yakino from, from Argentina. He, he basically can flick the ball from the back of his neck into a handstand position and balance the ball on the sole of his foot while he's in a handstand position. So, yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, like, I've got some moves, you know what I mean? Like, um, all round ball control, I'm, I'm up there with, with, with the best in the world, but then one off tricks like that, I mean, that's just like a lifetime of practice. So, yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty special. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, who do you think is the most uh, skillful player in, in the top flight? sort of game of yeah I think to be honest most skillful I mean you've got to be looking at the likes of you know Lionel Messi he's got a lot of, a lot of moves and what I like about Messi is the fact he's he's not really flashy about the way he does it his move might be just a little drop of the shoulder take it the other way where whereas opposed to Ronaldo he'll do a million step overs and kind of get to the same place that, that Messi would have done with just one little glint of the eye so he's really really clever there's some great people I'd say yeah. playing in England at the moment I really like Raheem Sterling uh, I think he's a fantastic player and I think he's going to be great for England over the next few years. So, uh, yeah. Wicked. Who do you support? Uh, I'm actually a Liverpool fan, so, yeah, I've, uh, I've always liked, liked Liverpool when I was a kid. So, I was basically from, uh, from Guildford, so the nearest club was Chelsea. And I like Chelsea a bit, but, but mainly I went for Liverpool. I like Red, you see. I like the air, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> and finally, what's the best match you've ever been to? Best match I've ever been to? Um, oh, well, I mean, it was actually, I didn't just go to it, I performed it. It was, it was amazing out in South Africa, they had the Soweto Derby, and it's the Kaiser Chiefs versus Orlando Pirates, 100,000 fans there, and the atmosphere was unbelievable. They had the Vuvuzelas and stuff like that going, and it got on your nerves after a while, but, but it, was, uh, it was pretty amazing. The atmosphere was, was unbelievable, so I loved that.
Make sure you watch my show, Football Freestyler, on Sky Sports. Don't miss it.